on the Builder Creeper Farm. I just want to say thank you, Waddles, for uploading the Creeper Farm tutorials you have. Very helpful. Just got to pile up to 250 on the my axes i want to build this into a floating island in the case i do fall which is very likely knowing what i'm working with i'm going to use my cherry blossom elytra we'll also use this water bucket to get us back up when needed the biggest challenge about building this island is going to be doing it and not dying every time that i try to place a new block oh i forgot i have my elytra this is legit the second floating island i've ever built i've got the basic shape of the island it's not done by any means but now i can at least start working on the shape of the creeper spawner tower thing i'm doing so that way when it comes to that it is at least kind of planned out Just with any mob farm you need your item collection system okay this is how i fall to my death it's been a good life I think I got the shape of the island. Um, yeah, so we're going to stick with this shape. I actually really like how this is. It's just going to be a butt to fill out the cobblestone underneath because, um, yeah, let's just take a quick look under here. I got to expand all that out to here. Okay, well, now I got the shape figured out. I just need to add in the variation blocks to make it not look just cobblestone-y. In the case I counted right, I have now got to stack oak wood all the way up to where the scaffold ends at the top of your 19 block tall pipe put a stairs on all the edges on all four sides you want to go two blocks out of course to make your life easier when it comes to building i don't know if it makes your life easier it's just kind of what you got to do to make the farm work now when you fill this in you want to fill it in all the way except for your four corners that way when you do it uh you can just place down two blocks over here kind of like i don't know uh so you're gonna want to build a wall you don't need to put the blocks down right here along the edge i'm doing it just for the look so the birch wood will eventually get turned into tinted glass once I get them. Now that I got the walls five blocks high, what I got to do is place some fence gates along this water hole here. So that way uh, water doesn't get in. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple, all that good stuff. And for the water buckets, I now just got to place them. Now that we got the tower part fully made, we have got to now take a block and go to out from right here. Ultimately, make it a three or up wide thing and just repeat on all the sides. As you probably noticed, my voice went really echoey and muffled. Not a clue why. Noise suppression done goofed. Please bear with it. It gets better after this next section of video. Thank you. Enjoy the rest. Once you're done, you have something like this where all the corners connect just like so. And now you can just build a wall around it. Now that you got your spawning platforms done, which includes these corners, you want to build into the center of the farm, which is right here. Once you've got your center block, you're going to want to go two blocks out. And the second block here, which can be any form of building block, I just like the look of the birch. You want to put buttons, and then you want to lap around this entire thing a fence as long as you have it in your inventory. In the center, you just want to place a snow golem. I mean, it's that simple. I mean, do you have any questions about it? I mean, it's it's simple. Break all the temporary blocks because you don't need them from this point forward, and then just make in a path with trapdoors to the blocks on the inside. That way, the creepers can act stupid. Step number one, whatever the frick it is, you can just build the walls outright. I'm I'm personally just going to go ahead and get the idea where my walls are. Right here is where my walls are going to be. So now I need to make some carpets, and with the carpet, I'll go every other block. So right here, 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 and here. You're going to prevent spider spawns by doing this. So yeah, go ahead and do that on all four sides. At this point, uh, you're going to build your two high walls. Fill this in. This is going to be where the roof is. We're just going to build a roof over the entire spawning platform. It, it's very expensive, this build. But hey, it's one of the more cost-effective creeper farms. Now this next part, it, it does hurt my soul. Like, like, a lot. Trap doors, they're expensive, but uh, you need to cover the entire spawn layers with them. Good luck. So yeah. Once you got your first layer done, you can just pretty much just copy that all around. Um, I mean, it's pretty simple to do. You legit just copy what you did below, copy it above on the ceiling. Just build another snow golem. I could technically steal his head, but from this point, it's just easier to shear off another pumpkin. I do wish I had some more snow, but um, I, I killed a lot of snow golems. Yeah, here's what you want to do, especially in survival before you're done put a block over your snow golem they will melt in the rain i learned that the hard way i killed two yes or no to the time lapse go comment down below
So yeah, now that I got that done, all I need to do is cover up this ceiling and in theory, once I do that, and it'll start working. In theory, this should be working now. I will work on the island itself and wait to see if any creepers spawn down here. It's working, it's working, yes, okay, come here and perfect now i will have an infinite source of gunpowder okay first things first i do want to make this tower a lot more detailed than what it is right now so we're going to take some of these spruce or actually mm, let's do dark oak we'll do dark oak okay so just for a basic design i did, did a row of three blocks i then put stairs on the two sides and i did stairs upside down and regular and upside down and i'm putting fences right here and this will just just to detail the build a little bit and then we'll put the lantern right in the center just like once i get it like so there we go yep just like that something else you can do instead of having to come up here and kill them you can do a campfire and it'll automatically just kill them as long as you don't really care about the um xp from it which i personally don't i have other ways to get xp place the campfires all along the walls of course i'm short one campfire so let me go get that i'm kind of just going to copy what i'm doing down there for the top of this um what did i do down there so a design i want to do i want to put these iron chains going up the corners here because it, it, it just has some more depth and with my resource pack the chains are pretty well the tower is done and it looks phenomenal until you get up there yeah i'm gonna work on that off camera when i figure out what i'm doing and if i want to go up any more layers with the creeper farm which probably not because it's doing pretty good right now and might i say for this being my first floating island this looks amazing i love this so yeah next episode we are oh my goodness that looks phenomenal again first uh floating island so it's not great and the tower on it's not finished but it'll get done the island looks amazing we'll just make a colony of floating islands right here i think that would look um, like just perfect and right above the pond too oh that'll look nice but yeah, i'm gonna go through detail that with some more dirt because i realized i didn't do much of that but with that said next episode we will go using the elytra to explore the world some more because i made an episode on it a while back and that episode didn't do great but yeah with that said if you did enjoy today's video go leave a like comment subscribe i'll see you in the next one check out the last episode currently linked on the screen and you have a nice day I just want to say a quick thanks to everyone who's been subscribing to my channel lately. I've jumped up a lot compared to what I've been doing in the past year. And trust me, I highly appreciate it. With that said, I do have a lot of plans for what I want to do once I complete the survival series. I'm going to start with a Minecraft survival guide. I, I know, so cliche of me, ain't it? That's kind of my goal, and I kind of want to expand our survival world. So I'm not going to start a new world. I'm just going to move to a Mesa biome and start the guide there. But yeah, no, I have a lot of plans and I want to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. So yeah, if you want to join me on this journey, do consider subscribing. Again, thank you for your support and all that good stuff. I'll definitely see you guys in the next one.